In the article, published in the British Journal of Sports Medicine, titled Bridging the Gap Between Strength Span and Lifespan, Avery Fragenbaum and colleagues outline the importance of children performing muscle strengthening activities long before adulthood. The concept of strength span refers to a measure of physical strength over a person's life, where healthy ageing involves building a strength reserve during childhood, maintaining activity-induced gains in muscular strength throughout adulthood, and reducing the magnitude and rate of decline in muscular strength during old age. Here are two hypothetical life course trajectories for strength span metric curves. The green curve represents optimal strength development, improved well-being, compressed decline in health and longer lifespan, while the red curve represents suboptimal strength development, poor health, accelerated ageing and shortened lifespan. This is Talking Sports Science with a summary of the article highlighting key points at each stage of life. First of all, muscular strength plays a key role in children's activity levels. Low strength leads to less play and exercise, creating a cycle of inactivity. This is because if a youth with low muscular strength tries to engage in moderate to vigorous physical activities, they're not really prepared for the physical demands. This lack of preparation can lead to all sorts of problems. They might get injured more easily, feel discouraged, and eventually stop participating in these activities altogether. This dropout can also lead to mental health issues, as physical activity is so closely tied to mental well-being. Furthermore, evidence shows that weaker children often face disabilities later in life, especially nervous system and mental health problems. And because muscular strength tends to track from childhood into young adulthood, weak youth often become weak adults, lacking the confidence and skills to stay active. Therefore, it's important that children are involved in age-appropriate muscle strengthening activities from a young age. These activities help build up a reserve of muscular strength that can be used when needed during moderate to vigorous physical activity. Plus, the benefits extend well into the future, as stronger muscles in childhood can lead to better heart and bone health later on. As youth develop their ability to produce force, metrics of physical strength will improve, their strength span will expand, and the divergence in health and performance between stronger and weaker youth will widen across time. So identifying and treating low muscular strength early can improve long-term health outcomes. And moving on to adulthood, where it's important here to be strong. However, in a global review of 3.3 million individuals, only 17% of adults met the recommended guidelines for combined aerobic and muscle strengthening activities. So unfortunately, most adults aren't exercising enough. When people don't keep up with muscle strengthening exercises, they often see a drop in their strength. This can lead to changes in their neuromuscular system, making it harder to stay active with moderate to vigorous physical activity. As a result, their overall health and well-being can start to decline. Therefore, Improving muscular strength and function as an adult can help slow down some of the biological processes, for example mitochondrial dysfunction, that contribute to serious diseases and disabilities. Interestingly, in a 2022 review of cohort studies, it was found that regularly performing muscle strengthening activities is linked to a lower risk of major non-communicable diseases, such as heart disease, cancer, chronic respiratory disease, and diabetes, and a lower risk of dying from any cause. These benefits are observed regardless of whether individuals also participate in aerobic activities. Furthermore, regular muscle strengthening activities during adulthood helps people reach their peak muscular strength, which is essential for staying functionally independent, reducing injury risks, and delaying the health declines that come with ageing. The practical benefits of being strong as an adult is you can handle everyday tasks like carrying shopping or picking up things much more easily and confidently than those who are weaker. Therefore, tailoring muscle strengthening prescription to align with individual preferences is recommended. This is because greater strength span leads to greater health and well-being. And lastly, regarding old age, there's strong clinical evidence showing that older adults performing muscle strengthening activities has huge benefits as it helps them stay functional and independent. 
This is because muscle strengthening activities can help preserve the nerves that control fast twitch type 2 muscle fibres, which are crucial for quick and powerful movements. Endurance training alone doesn't seem to retain these fast twitch muscle fibres as effectively. To keep these muscles healthy and strong, you need to regularly perform muscle strengthening activities that involves generating high contractile force. This kind of exercise can slow down the loss of muscle strength and keep you functioning well as you age. However, if you don't do enough muscle strengthening activities, you can experience worsening sarcopenia, which is the age-related loss of muscle mass and strength. This decline can reduce your ability to live independently and increase your risk of chronic health problems. Therefore, consistently performing muscle strengthening activities over the long term can improve physical abilities, such as climbing stairs and maintaining balance, which reduces the risk of falls and injuries related to falls. Additionally, strong older adults find it easier to handle daily tasks such as dressing and bathing. Consequently, regular muscle strengthening activities helps to extend your strength span, meaning you can enjoy a longer period of active and healthy living as you age. So by expanding the strength span at every stage of life, individuals will add life to years, and not just years to life. And that concludes this presentation. As always, I recommend you go and check out the full article. The link is in the description. Thanks for listening, folks. See you next time.